Hello everyone, Nicole K here and I'm going to show you how to install mods and custom content into The Sims 3, into your game, into your awesome game. You don't even need expansion packs or anything, you could just install these into your regular game. So we have three different files, our package files, Sims 3 pack files, and then Sim files. Sim files are of course Sims, and then these are the rest of the things. Package files are always mods, no matter what, there are always mods that come in package files. These are pretty much anything else from sims to clothes to decorational items <laughs> and patterns and stuff like that but before you even start doing any of this you have to get a zip file opener I've provided a link in the description the very first link and it'll take you to jzip I use it it's perfectly fine it's free I have no problems with it whatsoever uh, there are different types like 7-zip and WinZip and uh, just other random types of zip file openers but I'm just gonna use this one so the next link in the description will take you to a mod the sims page and you don't have to read all this you could if you want to but really I'm gonna show you how to do it anyway what you want to do is download the file click save as and you can see it says framework setup dot zip so you can't even do this first step if you don't have the zip file opener I'm going to save it to the desktop just click save I already have it there yes and I'm going to open it so now we have a mods folder all you want to do is drag and drop it to the desktop or you can say extract and then extract it wherever the heck you want but I'm not going to do that so the next thing you want to do is go click the start menu hit documents open up electronic arts open sims 3 and here you can see a whole bunch of different folders and files and all this random stuff. Just don't even worry about it. All you want to do is drag and drop this folder into this main Sims 3 folder. Make sure you don't drag and drop it into any of these subfolders though. So now if you did it correctly you'll have mods listed under all of this in alphabetical order. Now it's in alphabetical order. <laughs> and the contents are pretty much just a couple folders and then this resource CFG file. You need it. If you delete this, it will not work ever at all. Never ever. It won't work. You have to have this file, which is why they give it to you at Mod The Sims. And if you open up the package folder, you'll notice that it has two mods in it already no build sparkles, which is pretty much when you're placing a wall, it doesn't show those dust particles because that can be annoying I guess I, I don't mind it <laughs> and then we have the awesome no intro package file so I'll give you a little demo of that when I start up the game now just minimize it we will start off with a custom content item this will be a outfit just a random outfit I'll put the link down below if you guys would like it it's just the first one that I saw so all you want to do is go to that link click download and right here you can see that there are two different files it doesn't matter which one you click it depends on which one you would like though this is for young adult this is for teen click on whichever one you want say save as put on your desktop I just put everything on my desktop because it's easy that way and then open the file you can see it has serenity dress by Alexis in there for young adult and that's exactly what it's called so minimize this bring up the package folder the one that's in the Sims 3 folder with the mod and then the packages. You remember, you remember this folder. So go into that. And now what you want to do is drag and drop the dress into this folder, the packages. Now if you're like me and you want to be super picky and organize everything and say clothes, I would just put it in the clothes section. And then this one would be mods. I would put it in there. I think you can have up to five subfolders, meaning that you put a folder in here, then you put a folder in that, but really that's unnecessary. You just need like a couple folders like this. It doesn't really matter how many folders you have in in this one, in the package folder, because it's just, I don't know, I just want to be organized, so I keep it like that. Now since it's in there, I'm just going to close that up, go back to the website, go look for a mod. I'll choose the bar schedules mod. This mod is freaking awesome. I love using this mod. It opens the bars earlier and keeps them open till later. So just go back to the download file, click bars opening hours, save as, <laughs> save, and then open it. And then again, minimize the browser, open up the package files, and then pop that into the mods folder. 
and there you go that's it's seriously that easy now if you want to download custom sims I'm using the modthesims.info website again because I love this website they have really good quality stuff uh, I'll use Foxface as an example from the Hunger Games if you didn't know just scroll down click download click on Foxface you can see it's a zip file save as you know the drill uh, you can just rename it if you want that'd be so much easier click save and then once that's done open it and then minimize the browser again go back to the sims 3 folder with all these folders listed underneath go into saved sims and then just drag and drop her in there and then boom she's in your game <laughs> you'll notice I'll show you when we go into create a sim so now we just have Sims 3 pack files left to learn how to install. So I've got Kristen Stewart here. I know you guys would like to download her, so I'll put a link below. She looks really awesome, actually. I'm pretty, I'm pretty impressed with the dude that, or woman that made her. So just scroll all the way down until you see this little PS, my old version, blah, 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 which you can find here. Click this download button, the one that is centered. Go to the 4Shared website, 4Shared.com. Click the blue button that says download now, no virus detected. And it'll take you to this page and you'll have to wait the 20 seconds. So once that is done, it'll pop up like this. It'll say download file now. You just want to click download. Say save as. And I'm going to rename it as Kristen Stewart. Save. Once that's done, just open it. Minimize the browser again and open up the Sims 3 folder. Now, don't go into any of these other ones. Do not click on mods or anything like that. Go to where it says downloads, double click it, and then you'll notice that I have all the Sims 3 store content and other types of lots that I've downloaded in here. You can either drag and drop it in here, and it'll be in here already, or you could just double click on it, but usually that doesn't work for me, so I'd never do that. I just drag and drop it over here. It's easy peasy. So go to the launcher, already got it open, and you can see she automatically pops up. So just select her and click install. Go out. I'm going to get out of all these. And depending on how slow or fast your computer is, this might pop up, this might not pop up fairly quickly. Mine takes a little while. It's lazy. My computer is lazy. <laughs> You'll notice that it'll come to this eventually, and it will start downloading the item. It will go to this page, and it will start installing it. No clue why it's just named that. <laughs> so once it's done, just click OK and it'll take a few seconds to load. But you'll notice she was installed correctly if she is not in color anymore and she looks like dust in here, gray and meshy. Sometimes you have to keep installing things before they actually get put into the game. I have no idea why, but it happens sometimes. Don't worry about it, just keep trying and download it from another website if you can. So that's what it will look like. You'll get another exclamation right here. Go to installed content if you want to double check. He also lists other items on his website. If you wanted to go download some of those, they're right here. It's just right above the download button. So now I'm going to go into the game and show you all the custom content items that I have installed, including the no intro mod. So let's start up the game. If you have installed the mods folder and then the no intro mod, all that stuff correctly, you'll notice that it automatically goes to this screen and it does not include that first screen with all the flying plum bobs and stuff like that and then the intro where it shows the baby and then the drapes are all cheetah yeah it does not show that it goes straight to this so I'm going to go into create a sim and show you the rest of this stuff that I have downloaded in this video you'll notice that the skin looks different that's because I took it off in order to do this tutorial and I will be putting it back on and doing a video on how and where I get my custom skin from so this is just a default EA skin that comes with The Sims 3 and her face looks a lot different. So all you want to do to get to your custom sims is to go to this pre-made sim section, click on this little starburst looking thingy, I don't know what it's called, <laughs> and it'll load for a little bit. So here is Fox Face, and you can see her face is different. There are mods to change the facial features called sliders. Uh, I guess they're hacks or something, but I can show you how to download it. It's basically the same exact thing as the package file downloads, except you will need something else to 
increase the number of sliders you can have in the game. And it does sound confusing right now, but I'll get into it later. So here's Foxface. <laughs> and here's Kristen Stewart. So, so. And she looks amazing, of course. And her face looks really awesome. She came with the lipstick and then the blush and also the eyes. So let's go look at that stuff right now. Just to show you guys what other stuff you can download for the game. So here's her blush right here. If you change it, it goes funny. Yeah, it looks a little bit different. Oh yeah, that looks so much better. And then we've got lipstick. Custom lipstick she's wearing. It's a lip gloss. And then for her contacts, they are right under the costume makeup. Which is pretty much where all the contacts and stuff will be if you ever download contacts. Or some sort of face mask. That's where they will be located. And now let's go look at the dress that we downloaded. And what I usually do is scroll all the way down because most of the time it will be located towards the bottom of the list and it actually is. So here's a new custom dress. If you wanted to test it out with that dress it should be located under formal wear in the outfits. There you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial showing you how to download a whole bunch of random custom content stuff and sims and mods. It's pretty neat. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below or PM me and I will gladly answer as I always do. <laughs> and I will talk to you guys later.